I partnered Phelps with everybody's favorite pole, Stefan Bukowski. <laughs> Hope you like work, kid. Bukowski sure as hell doesn't. Well, that's why we have partners, right? <laughs> okay, okay, can it, guys. That's a good one. Stick with Bukowski. He's a good cop. He knows traffic inside now. I'm going to start you out with one case. Do okay? I'll give you a couple more. You screw up, you'll be rousting vagrants and running license plates. Now get down to the P.E. Freight Depot, 6th and Alameda. A patrolman called in a suspicious vehicle. Signs of foul play. See what you can find out. Come on, Phelps. All right. Well, I'm finding this dang criminal. All right. All right, new found it, buddy. Now let's get out of here. I guess there really is no Five star reason goddamn to run. Wedding. They really pushed you through quick, didn't they? Six years on patrol before I got this desk. You were here in five minutes. That's what true. That's true. I didn't ask for any favors. He's a cop. Yeah, I am a cop. What you gotta do about it? You know this place? Sure. Near the old gas works and signal depot in the warehouse district. I'll direct. Tell me a little about yourself, Phelps. Are we friends now, Bukowski? We have to work together. Don't be so touchy. I grew up in San Francisco. My father was in shipping. Went to college at Stanford. Did two years ROTC before Reno CS at Camp Elliott. Oh, mask gunman. Up on the roof, officer. He has a mask on his face. I caught sight when he shoved past me, but be careful. I saw him waving a gun. Well, all right. I don't think he's going to be lasting too long. Yeah, he's got a gun. What do you think you're doing, Phelps? Give it up now. Make it easy on yourself. Get the hell away from me. Oh, you ain't getting away so easily. Oh, wait, can I? I don't know if I'm allowed to shoot him. Because he is armed. Oh, I ain't risking it here. I ain't risking too many people. I know, I know, I know. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Is somebody going to tell us what the hell is going on? Yes, armed gunman. Can you not tell? Where the hell's my partner? I don't know if I can shoot him. I don't know if it's allowed. Alright, that's it. I'm not letting him get away. Come on, Flatfoot. Let's negotiate. Alright, alright. Put the weapon down, now! What, what do you got to negotiate? Like, incapacate the suspect. Put your weapons down and your hands in the air. You Bullseye. I'm dead shot. That's what they call me. They call me the dead shot of the world. Of the 1940s. I'm the best damn sharpshooter there is. It's a shame we had to put him down, though. So, how does that go for my, uh, reputation? 
Street crime complete. Oh, I just got... Alright, let's go. Oh, get in. I thought you were in. Get in, my boy. Alright, do I have to get back out for you? Do I need to get back in? That's right, partner. Get in. Hey, I'm doing a three-point here. Alright? Doing a three-point turn. Give me a break. Barely even nicked him. You're oh. a goddamn menace! Oh. I... <laughs> I probably should get a little better driving, not gonna lie. It seems to uh, sort of affect you in this game. Alright, what's my first case? Let me know. That you, Bukowski? Yeah, that's me. Go on through. Parking lot straight ahead. Alright, so I weird. need to get back to work, officer. The detectives are here now. You repeat to them what you told me. I did the right thing by calling this in. Yes, I'm you just did. Just a working stick. Just give him your story and you'll be all right. Damn straight. All right, so what's your this story? This is your first case, Phelps. It's okay to admit it if you're stumped. If you don't know what to do next, just come talk to me and we'll see what we can figure out. All right, sounds Thanks, good. Tom. You're okay. You're okay. Been at it longer than me, but you're okay. You're only, you're only, you're not nearly as witted as I am. I am the best detective there is. All right, what you got, officer? I'm Officer Hart. Phelps, traffic. What have you got? Abandoned car, probably stolen. The solid citizen is Nate Wilkie. He called it in. What gives with the corner? There's blood all over the interior. Someone's copped a full Broderick, but no stiff as yet. We have an owner for the car? The car is registered to an Adrian Black, just north of Bunker Hill. All right, Adrian we'll take Black. A look around. I'll keep All Mr. Right. Wilkie talking, but don't make him wait too long. He's the restless type. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll come talk to him now. Nice day for it. Oh, All right. You're going to keep me. Get back to work, Sir, right? I'm Detective Phelps. Yeah, I'm right My name's here. name's Nate Wilkie. You found the vehicle? Sure. So I just sitting there. Strange place to be parking your car. Uh, I would Figured agree. I better I would take agree. a look. And then I saw all the blood. So I call the police. Good call, your man. Uh knowledge of Adrian Black. Do you Black. know Adrian Black, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. That ain't a name I'm familiar with. Alright, alright. Uh, just you ever seen the car before? Funny enough, I did. Oh, you did? A couple did? of nights ago, it was over there in the parking lot. I know most of the cars are parked here regular, so it kind of stood out. All right. So what Mind was your if purpose? I ask what you were doing out here? Well, I work for the railway. I was on my way out to the switch and reckon I'd take a shortcut. All right. Um... Hmm, I don't... Yeah, he's telling the truth. Did you see anybody else in the yard? Yeah, Maybe I somebody hanging him. around the car? Nope. I hadn't seen a soul all day till you boys turned up. All right. Thank you for your patience, Mr. Wilkie. Yeah, if you don't mind waiting a little longer, I'm sure we'll have more questions once we've had a look around. Yeah, I'm sure we will. So we got some cigarettes. No good to me. All right, yeah, but you never know. You never know. Anything else? Oh, murder weapon? I guess. No, no. Big lump of shit. I'm guessing this is a murder weapon. Blunt. You know, too bad we haven't seen a body. The brand name might give us something to go on. All right. Fair enough, fair enough. Hmm, anything else around here? 
Can we get a look at the car? Is the car possible? Ooh. Ooh, that... Turn your eyes away, child. The victim looks to have lost a lot of blood. Yeah. Where is the victim? Uh, what's this? What's exhibit A? ID? Uh, let's pick up the ID, or the wallet. Adrian Black. Well, that picture's a little creepy. Happier times, I guess. Oh, the height. I wouldn't. That's a little creepy in my opinion. Interview Mrs. Black. years old. Married. Sounds like an average guy. What was he doing out here? You know, that's exactly what I was thinking. All right, let's 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 look at these glasses. Any any specific things? Anything you got on? Oh, yes, we do. Stenzel glasses. Home repaired by the look of it. Well, all right. Now we got uh, another, another little brand name. Anything else? Anything else around here? Here, here, let's see if we can ask him more questions based on the evidence we've gotten. Uh. Contents the of the wallet. wallet by the car. Was there anything in it when you arrived? You accusing me of something, mister? No. No, I am not. Back up. Do you want the patrolman to hold you down while we turn out your pockets, Mr. Wilkie? Maybe I checked inside that wallet. Not that I was gonna steal anything. Maybe I took a look. All right. But there weren't no money in there. Not even change. See, I knew he was lying. He got really defensive. We found a steel pipe with blood on it near the car. Do you know anything about it, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. I went straight for the law when I saw the car was full of blood. No. When you saw the blood, was it wet, bright red, or uh, darker like it is now? Darker, I'd say. Look dry already. All right. Thank you for your help, Mr. Wilkie. Oh, we'll contact four correct answers. If you anything more from you. If you have to, I guess. I can't really spend no more time over this. All right, be on your way. Oh, it says one more thing. Oh, I can check the trunk. Oh, we got another pipe. Oh, what's the note? Oh. Mr. F. Morgan picked up a live pig yesterday? Well, that's a little strange. Only if I saw this before. Could have asked him about it. Any though, I doubt he would have saw Not it. Not much help. Alright, you know what? Can I select anything else? No, I cannot. Somebody's got to inform the wife, Phelps. You're done here. We'll head over there now. Alright, yeah, let's go. I, I really don't think there's anything else here to look at. Oh, I, I'm, I'm, that, the walking speed isn't very... Hold while when next to Oh, make, make my partner drive. Yeah, he, he'll probably know where to go. You know the way. You can drive. Uh, where are we going? We're going to the black dress. Now, if you are really buggy and can't drive, I will be very upset. Oh, I guess that's not good in case there are any other, like, crime scenes that you find along the way. So I don't know if I actually want to do that again. Because we found the, the masked gunman. And there, apparently there's 40 crimes lying around that we have to solve. Black residence, 11.20 a.m. Hello, is anybody home? Mrs. Black, Let's go introduce we have a few ourselves. questions. You talk to her, Phelps. I'm no good at this shoulder to cry on stuff. Just a minute. Oh, I thought that was her crying. LAPD, Mrs. Black. May we come in? We have some bad news, and we'd rather discuss this in private. I'm Margaret Black. We can discuss this in the living room. Please come in. All right. Your husband drives a blue Lincoln, Mrs. Black? That's correct. The car has been found abandoned, and I'm afraid there are signs of foul play. 
I knew something was wrong when he didn't come home. Of we believe your husband may be injured. We found a pipe on the scene with blood on it. Oh, no! My poor Adrian! Does the name Instaheat mean anything to you, ma'am? Yes, it does. We've just had a new water heater installed. Oh, uh-oh. Whereabouts, Mrs. Black? Just outside the kitchen window, at the side of the house. I'd like you to try and stay calm and remember everything that you can about last night. My partner and I are going to take a look around. When you're ready, we're going to have some more questions for you. Is that okay? Of course, officer. All right. Anything to help secure my husband's safety. All right, well, don't worry. We'll get him back just in time. Well, let's check the place out. Come on. Oh, what does this have to do with anything? Not sure this means much. Yeah, I, I was gonna say, it doesn't very, look very important. But that, the heater. I'm interested about the heater because of the pipe. I feel like there's gonna be a pipe missing. What's this? Insta-heat. Further investigation. New clue. Inst the flyer, all right. So now what's this? Have a good look around. This oh, was only recently installed, not two days ago. No, oh, I'm thinking. Maybe it's time we took a look around outside. I agree, I agree. All right, so let's get out of that. I think this is the exit. Yes, it is. Don't know what that door goes to, but. Oh, it looks like a washroom. Like nothing. All right, so where's this heater they so talk about? Uh oh, it's missing a pipe. I knew it. No use leaving the thing half finished. Oh, we're doing it for her. No, no, wrong, wrong piece. Okay, I, I was not ready to become a mechanic. No, up, up. I can't be right. Right there. There you go. That's what I was trying to do. Then this would go there. Then that will be there. Oh, this come together all nice and well. And then there. No, that won't work. What? Oh, I don't know. That looks wrong. Yeah, it does. Crap. Crap, put it down. Okay, can I go up for another piece? No, I can't. I can't take a piece off. If I can't put... go there. No use leaving the thing half finished. Yeah, that's true. Um... Oh, there we go. There we go. And then, hints, the, so the missing pipe piece. missing from Mr. Black's heater is the same one that killed him. Huh. Seems like the assailant is a little closer to home. That, that's what I was thinking. All right. Good work. Good detective work. Now what? Anything else I can do out here? Any, any, other, any other things to investigate? Yeah. How about in here? How about the poop shoot? Alright, I think, think it's time to go in and ask her some questions. So. So, Mrs. Black. Where is he? What did you do with him? Uh, slaughterhouse. Sla slaughterhouse! You know, that's a great place to get a water heater. We found a receipt in the trunk of your husband's car for a live this receipt was made out to an F. Morgan. A pig? Adrian runs a tool business. That would be Frank Morgan. God knows what he's up to. Frank Morgan. We have a suspect. All right, good cop. What makes you say that about Morgan, ma'am? He's the foreman at my husband's plant. A very shady character. Shady? How so? To keep his distance from the staff. They're always out drinking together. All right, what about the Did location? Did your husband tell you where he was going last night? 
All he said was he was going to meet Frank for a drink. Uh, she has no reason so to nothing lie. Nothing out of the usual, then. Well, he came home early from work. He never comes home early. Oh, that's a little suspicious. And he Maybe. went out early, too. He normally never leaves for the bar till about seven. Well, when did he leave, ma'am? I think you should come clean with us, Mrs. Black. Your husband is missing, and after our search, I'm willing to call the circumstances suspicious. Can oh, you yeah. account for your movements last night? You're not accusing me, are you? Hey, ma'am, ma'am, oh, ma'am. What an awful thing to say. I was here all night, of course, waiting for Adrian to come home. Is there anyone that can verify that? Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I should... Do we have any evidence against it to accuse her? I mean, we have no re we have no reason for her to be gone. Um Uh let's just Let's just be a good cop again. Is there anyone who can vouch for that? Well, no. What? I I was here alone. I cooked Adrian's dinner. All right. Clues. What about people? So we got Nate Wiki, Adrian Black. Oh, he's a he's a big character, you know. Right, let's talk to my partner. Alienist provides help to troubled vets, which may not. Lie down, make yourself comfortable. Oh, what's this? So, you're a friend of Courtney's? Yes, Doctor. He seems very concerned about you. I have these visions. These blinding visions. I can't get them out of my head. My skull, it, it feels like it's in a vice. I want to give you something to calm your nerves. Oh, well, okay. I think he might be a criminal later, or a suspect. I want to take you on a journey. A journey back. I want you to remember the good things about your past. Occasions that made you laugh. Times that made you smile. That's interesting. Got anything in here? Let me do my detective work now. Alright, let me through. Let's pick up pick up there yonder. Hmm. Don't think this is any use to us. Oh yeah, what about the hydr what about you? I don't think this is going to help us. Really? You sure about that? Sure about that? You know, you never know what could be used. Are we going to have to talk to her again? Adrian Black. Or not Adrian Black. That's the co op. To Aiden. Love. To my Love. Adrian. This thing gets more and more interesting. Love sick and lonely without you. Hurry back, my Nicole. So I'm betting he was having an affair. So we're gonna have to ask him. Adrian's. So we're gonna have to ask her about that. Nicole. Plane ticket. Railroad ticket used ticket to Seattle and a suitcase gone missing. Someone couldn't wait to get out of this house. I'm betting you. I'm betting it was staged. 
I feel like it was uh, faked. Faked murder. He ran away with Nicole. Separate bedrooms, separate pictures. What gives here? Can't investigate anything further. Anything else in here? Nope. Alright, let's go talk to her about Nicole. Actually, we have this room. A uh, wide. I don't think we can go in there. For whatever reason, I don't think we can go in there. We went over there. Ooh, is this just like a little shortcut? Yeah, I think it is. I think that's why we can't go through. Alright. Let's talk to the little Miss Lady. Photo tell us Christ. about the photo of Adrian in the bedroom. What is there to tell? It's from his most recent business trip to Seattle. Alright, I'm accusing There's you. plenty to tell. You just won't tell it. You're lying about the photograph, Mrs. Black. You're incredibly rude and insensitive. But I guess you know that. I told you what I know about I guess I guess that was a little aggressive. Oh, concealed message. Concealed message. What about Nicole, Mrs. Black? Was your husband going to leave you for her? Oh, your boy got I've it right. I've seen the photo frame. <laughs> he thinks I'm stupid. But women sense these things. I don't know if he intended to leave me or if it was just a fling. God only knows. I only want to know that he's safe. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. I knew you were lying. You better start telling the truth like you were earlier. You damn late. Oh, am I just... Do I have the ability to look at all this stuff? Uh, it does nothing for me. Yeah. I feel like we're done here, but I also feel like we're not. There's something else. There's another reason we aren't leaving. I actually wonder if we can just leave. Where's my partner? Oh, what are you looking at? Oh, you're just looking up some cigs. Oh, wait a minute. Off. So who brought this home? Wait a minute, weren't there cigarettes at the at the crime scene? Yeah, I, know, I guess that is pretty... Nope, I already saw this. Don't want it. I'm, I'm looking at this. There it is again. Further investigate. Los Angeles. Maybe... Maybe Adrian was a patron. R and I should have an address. Record the investigation, kids. Alright, alright, we're gonna ask her about that. Then I'm betting we're done. Use tele- wait, what? Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How could I help, detective? I need an address on a Kavanaugh's bar. Certainly, detective, one moment. Kavanaugh's bar, corner of Aliso and Hewitt. South side of Union Station. Thanks. Well, all right. Bye bye, Mrs. Black. You lying scum. Oh, I'm driving this time. Just in case there's any more crime that we need to investigate. A black residence. Wait, what? Can you go to the bar? The ACB Network presents national news from Washington. Hey, hey, chill, 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 chill. In the nation's capital, railroad officials, screenwriters, and critics accompany Miss Anne I'm planning on crashing. As she goes aboard the George Washington for the first motion picture premiere on Whoa, rail. whoa, whoa, whoa. You saw I was here. Oh, get out the way. Have been cleared away 
I might be using the power just a little bit, you know what? Alright, alright, we're pretty close to that, we're pretty close. Alright, where is this? Uh, I thought, I lied, I thought we were close, but it looks like it's pretty far away. Discovered a landmark. I'm gonna have to come back. Not gonna lie, I'm gonna have to come back. Can we shut this radio off? What's the shoo shoo what bandits? So They're getting away. What happened here, sir? They they had guns. Dirty louses took everything and then booked. They went that way. The the, the stairs alongside the track. All right, we're on our way. We'll be back, sir, with hopefully your stuff. Angel's flight. LAPD! Find some cover! We got him. Sorry, right. we got him. We got him. I got him before he could get away. We're fine. Two suspects, two down. Car 11K. Shots fired. The suspect is down at 3rd and Hill. It's code 4 here, but I need an ambulance. Yeah, I sort of... 11K, roger on the ambulance. All units, the shooting at 3rd and Hill Street is code 4. Code 4. Yeah, one of them's definitely dead, though. Def without a doubt. That was a straight headshot. Sword of Justice. That's what I like to call myself. I got many swords of justices. Alright, so we're there. So we need to go straight. Alright, I feel like I can get there. Just gotta go straight for a little bit. Why are you honking at me? I'm the dang police. Where is it? That's not it. Uh, oh god, that's far away. I should not have accepted it. Uh, lord. Clear street crime from the minimap. Alright, screw it. I'm, I ain't doing it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'll do it. I'll do it in Oh my god, only if you could have done that before it crashed. Alright. Do you got something? Hey, I know you. No, you don't. That's right. You don't. Yes, I am. You know Frank Morgan? Sure. Frank's your regular. He's a loner in the back. Loner in the back. Gotcha. Boy, uh, that steak has seen better Frank days. Frank Morgan? Who's asking? 
Uh, well, I'm asking, obviously. Cole Phelps, LAPD. I understand you're a friend of Adrian Black. Yeah, I heard you. Yeah, your... I know. Are you aware that he's missing? No, I hadn't heard that. Tough break. Oh, well, I have a, I have a feeling you... We found Black's car, abandoned in a freight depot, covered in blood. You know anything about that, Morgan? Hell no. Uh, I, I'm sorry to hear that. I like Adrian. He, he's a good oh, boss. Please, don't tell me you actually believe this jerk-off, Phelps. Hmm. I can't accuse him, but I'll be, but I'll be aggressive. You're in on it, Morgan. You drove down there, and you let Black have it. Ooh, I'm a bad boy. That the best you got? Shit. When did you last see Adrian? Hell, I don't know. Uh, I had plenty to drink last night. Things are a little sketchy. Um, I have nothing. I can't say. Come anything. on, Morgan. It was only last night. You must remember something. Look, we might have had a drink. We have a drink most nights after work. This doesn't add up, Morgan. Your excuses Zero don't help. Let's see how you enjoy the LAPD taking an interest in your life. I got zero of those correct. You know my opinion? We tell Morgan. I say he's lying, and whatever hole he's got Adrian stashed in, he's got to go back there sometime. Thing is, though, how we we don't have anything to tie him, do we? You know what? We're fine. We're just gonna tail him nicely. He's de he definitely did it. Now it's just a matter of he's speeding off very quickly. He sure left his drink in a hurry. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I bet he wishes he'd rehearsed that story better now. <laughs> I'm betting he does, because he ain't getting away any about tickets to Adrian. We can't let him make us. Hey, hey, we can pull him over for running the red light. Slow her down, slow her down. So how long are we gonna be tailing this dude? You know, I'm pretty sure as long as we get him to come in, even if we do fail those two questions, I probably should have been a bad cop. Thing is, though, I don't know how what we had to Where accuse him. Where are you thinking, Mr. Morgan? That's what I'm thinking. He's going somewhere. He's going way out of the line. And you can tell. Oh, easy call. Better back it off. That's what I was thinking. All right, here we go. Morgan's apartment. Check the place out. Come on. Day one of the big time, and you're already tailing drunks home from bars. You having fun yet? Oh, I'm having the I best told of you fun. I non-stop glamour work in traffic, didn't I? I'm just trying to learn. Oh, come on, Phelps. Save the creepy teacher's pet stuff for Leary. It won't work on me. Oh, I know you. You're just trying to find the damn funds. So I have no idea where we're actually... Oh, we're we going in here. All right. So, which apartment is his? F. Morgan, number two. Time to go to the apartment number two. Yep, yep, that that would be correct. Uh, 
Morgan. All right. Let's pay our friend a visit. See if he's missed us yet. Yeah. From the five minutes when we last saw him. Apartment one. Apartment number two. Who the hell is that? Will you relax? Jesus, Adrian, I told you. We're in the oh. clear. That is Get Adrian. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> in the clear, eh, bud? It's over, Morgan. Mr. Black, LAPD, give yourself up now. I knew it. Phelps, go after him. I'll try and head him off in the car. I got him. The gun is the last resort. I know, I know. There's no point running, Adrian. Oh, jeez. This, this is one athletic big man. I Mr. don't... Mr. Black, get back here right now. I'm not... I definitely don't want to shoot him. Because he's unarmed. It's over, Adrian. Stop good. right there, Adrian. Good call. Good Why call. Why not just come clean with her, Black? Why the melodrama? I thought it would be easier. No, it just got a whole lot harder. Adrian Black, you're under arrest for conspiracy and fraud. We'll see what the DA has to say about wasting police resources on a wild goose chase like this. You're going to lose your wife, lose your job, and probably end up in the big house. I hope she was worth it, Adrian. I hope she was. Nicole better have been worth it. Where's Nicole, by the way? So I haven't seen her. That turned out to be quite some case, huh? Adrian, what an idiot. You got an arrest and a clearance in your first case, and in fine style, too. Well done, detective. Efficient investigation technique, good public presence. You keep that up, and you learn from Bukowski here. You could go a long way in this department. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. Considering I got five chances to interrogate someone in my first first go around at it. All right. Well, that was the driver's seat. Oh, vehicle damage. Oh, oh, we get damaged. Case notes: Frank Morgan won't have rolled over on Adrian back with some tougher questioning. All right. So I should have done the bad guy. No, it's all right. I got. Four stars. Four stars. You know what? That ain't great, alright? I will have to do a little better with damage and... I'm going to have to become a better driver, alright? So that's it for this episode. I hope you all leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe as always, and I'll catch you on the next one.